example, Ida made landfall on the exact date that Hurricane Katrina devastated a large part of the Gulf Coast exactly 16 years ago. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and check in with Chief Meteorologist Dan Fianca for a new weather forecast. Good evening, Dan. Hey there, Taryn. I, I recall sitting in like a computer lab in meteorology school watching Katrina come ashore. And from a meteorological perspective, it was, you know, something extraordinary to behold watching that come ashore in Louisiana. And Ida is no different than that. Category four hurricane, sustained winds up over 150 miles per hour, making landfall today in the bayous of the Louisiana, uh, Mississippi Delta area. Now starting to see the eye fill in a little bit, but it is still there, still packing a punch. New Orleans again right around here, not very far away from the eye. And really the worst side of the storm is usually what's called the right front quadrant because not only do you have the gusty winds associated with the hurricane, but it actually adds into the forward momentum. And that's where the storm surge is. With the wind pushing the water toward the coast, you see the highest storm surge. And there were some indications of storm surge of six to seven feet, maybe even higher in some locations. That's just some preliminary data that I saw this afternoon. And Ida will continue to move to the north and slowly weaken as it goes over land, but it is going to be a very windy and rainy night for portions of Louisiana. Back here on the West Coast, things are pretty calm for us. High pressure still dominating our weather, but weakening a little bit today. Onshore flow allowed us to cool off a bit. We saw an increase in those low clouds and the haze of this weekend starting to scour out a little bit too. And as we look at our surface smoke cast, there's a little bit of smoke in the low levels, which could keep air quality moderate at times, but generally expecting some clearing of the air here over the next couple of days. So if the small amount of smoke that has been in the air in the low levels has been bothering you, we'll get a little bit better. Up in the mountains, you've had it a little bit worse, but it will also get better for you. Future cast showing low clouds tonight. So it's not really handling that well. So I suspect around the coast tonight, you're gonna see the low clouds basically hugging the coast. And once the sun starts to go down, they'll start to rush into the valleys. And I expect tomorrow morning as you wake up at 6 a.m., the bay to be filled with low clouds, the Salinas Valley to be filled with low clouds. And we'll probably see the clouds into Gilroy and Hollister, even though the computer model's not showing it. Marine layer is a little over 1,000 feet deep, and that's enough to get the clouds into the valleys as well overnight. During the afternoon tomorrow, the model's clearing us out a lot, but I still think we're going to see low clouds hanging around the coast for the most part. We're going to call it a partly cloudy day on the coast and a mostly sunny day inland. And generally, temperatures will be pretty close to what we saw today. So up in the Santa Cruz Mountains, I'm expecting highs in the 80s to low to mid 90s, like in Boulder Creek at 95. Down on the coast, right around 70 in Santa Cruz, 69 in Capitola. You know, when, once we're in this cooler air mass, we tend to be a little cool for this time of year. Santa Cruz normal high should be in the mid to upper 70s in any given day during the late month of August. Watsonville to Salinas, a low 70s tomorrow. 80s in San Juan, upper 80s in Hollister, 90s in the Santa Clara Valley, but staying in the 60s right along the coast. And on to the peninsula, high temperatures somewhat cool tomorrow as well with highs in the mid 60s, give or take a couple of degrees. We'll top out at 67 in Monterey and you'll get a little sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Uh, but Pebble Beach, I wouldn't expect much. Down south, highs in the 80s in Carmel Valley and from Soledad through King City in the Salinas Valley. We'll still see some hot spots like Bradley and Parkfield coming in at 105 tomorrow afternoon. Now on the coast for the next seven days. Temperatures stay a little bit cool, may feel nice to you. Uh, we'll see partly cloudy skies for the next seven days or so, perhaps a little bit warmer as we head into the weekend, however, but generally will be a little bit cool and cloudy as we head into the work week. At least those clouds kind of hugging the coast. Inland areas, still pretty warm tomorrow. We're going to see the overall temperature drop inland about 10 degrees on Tuesday and then stay there for the rest of the week. For the most part, we'll see mostly sunny skies, though. And then as we head into the weekend, we're going to warm up a little bit, but there's also some potential for a little bit of monsoonal moisture. This is going to be partially related to a tropical cyclone down in Baja called Nora. Um, but some of that moisture may get kicked far enough to the west to give us some high clouds. I don't expect any precip, but either way, it may give us a few extra clouds. Taryn.